Okay, that was insane. The mission to get here was pretty bizarre. Yeah, that was a crazy taxi drive. Yeah. Oh my gosh, so much was happening on the road. It was overwhelming. There was like a lady <laughs> crossing with a baby and then a bus passing her and it was just like... It was a lot. It was a lot. And now we're in like this little shanty town where they harbor all the buses. Yeah, it's so weird. I'm glad that a taxi took us here because there was probably would have never 100 gone. buses yeah. at least. This is nuts. We could not have done this on our own. No. Sure. There's a little shop that sells treats for your ride, so that's yeah. good to know if you need stuff. And this is the non-VIP bus. Yeah. It's pretty good. Check it out. Uh, so, I don't know. It'll yeah. be alright. I think it looks alright. We got a free bottle of water. Yeah. So that's good. Yeah. I have no idea where we are. We're somewhere <laughs> between Yangon and Bagan. They kicked us all off for a pee break and we had to get off. It wasn't yeah. like a choice. Yeah. And it's been interesting so far. I fell asleep at the beginning and then they were blaring this like... Crazy music. It was yeah. like super like, intense. Like <laughs> and I couldn't even like listen to my own music to drown it out. So yeah. that's fun. <laughs> It's annoying. I was just getting into my movie. So I'm watching Pineapple Express. <laughs> I'm not sure if it was the bumpy ride, the loud music, or the excitement that kept me awake the whole ride. But for me, it was a long, sleepless journey. We arrived shortly after 5 a.m and jumped into a taxi with the world's most nicotine-stained windows. For the privilege of just getting off the bus and going to our hostel, we had to pay 25,000 gyat, required by the government to gain access to the historical area. Nobody ever checked our ticket for the duration of our trip, and as far as I'm concerned, it's a scam. We have to pay 25,000 gyat each. Which is probably horseshit. It's probably a way to just make money, I think, but I don't know. update for you. We made it to the hostel. It's early in the morning. We got to the hostel around 6.30 or something. Mm -hmm. And we can check in, but we can't get a room until 2. <laughs> yeah. And it's freezing. I can see my breath. Look. The bus ride was pretty... Uh, it was interesting. There was frequent stops. And I couldn't vlog on it. If I vlogged on the bus, it would look like this. <laughs> Except with the <laughs> lens cap on, because it was dark. The beauty of Bigon was apparent from the very beginning. The way the dust diffused the already soft sunrise, the puppies, the smiling people, the food. Some Bigon streets samosa right here. Mm, oh my god. Not super spicy, but really good flavor. Yeah? Yeah, that's yummy. Mmm, yeah. It's like meat and onion and lots of flavor. It's fucking good. Yeah, that's unreal. Mm -hmm. I don't care if I get malaria. <laughs> okay, more street food. They have like a bag of deep fried pastry, I think, and chickpeas, and I think onions as well. Yeah, fried onions? Yeah, fried onions. Ginger, maybe. Oh man, that smells good. I'm just gonna get in there. Jesus. Is it good? Yes. Oh my god. Again, not spicy, but really yummy. Whoa. Right? Mm -hmm. Whoa. I didn't expect it to be so good. Out of this world. Yeah, this is next level cool. Yeah. It is literally like stepping back in time. Yeah. Anyway, right now we're on our way to meet a couple new friends that we made in Yangon. 
uh, Storm and Charlie, they're from Quebec. Well, Storm's originally from New York, but they've done a lot of traveling together. Yeah, they're basically just globe trotting right now. Yeah. We ran into them in our hostel, so we're gonna go see what they want to do today. With no real agenda, we rented scooters and just explored our surroundings, which inevitably led us to some ancient pagodas. We've rented scooters, and by we, I don't just mean Aaron and I. We got Storm and Charlie too. We met them. <laughs> we met them in Yangon last night. Last night? Yeah, just yeah. yesterday. It's illegal for tourists to have motor vehicles in this country if you don't already know. So that's why we have to rent these shitty little electric bikes. But they're cheap. And they last all day, so that's cool. I think we found out how off-road they can go. <laughs> we were driving on roads and walking into structures that were built long before the concept of Canada was ever dreamt of. Roads formed naturally by the scuffling feet of animals and human alike. If anybody knows what the cultural significance of the things hanging from the trees are, comment down below, but I get the feeling that it's more like it's just a souvenir. Yeah, like a touristy thing, like handmade items. They're really cool though. Um, probably just touched a brick that was like a million years old. Yeah. Russian pagodes. The sun was well into the sky, and every minute the mercury would climb another degree. It seems the bats found the coolest place to hang. With anything, but most of it's just like... Yeah, you really have to... yeah, Storm, are you hungry from fucking smash and colch today? Oh man, I got so much colch, I just worked up such an appetite. <laughs> 
After nearly 30 hours without anything more than a nap, our desire for a bed grew proportionately with the rising temperature. Our room still wasn't ready yet, and the sun was in the middle of the sky seeking a cruel punishment. On this rare occasion, card games and beer had no charms to soothe the unhurried passing of time, as if even the clock's tick slowed to a crawl under the pressure of the heat. After a quick nap, the game was on. We had to find a pagoda to climb to catch the fleeting beauty of a Burmese sunset and with the help of Storm and Charlie, we were successful. From up there, the chatter of other tourists was the only thing that separated me from feeling spiritual. A herd of oblivious animals walked around under the dust and golden cast of light. The peaks of pagodas and panoramas stood like the hair on our necks, a sight that would disarm even the most jaded of men. a cop down there telling us to get down all right we are being kicked off now but we did get to see it as you can tell by the time lapse that you're probably watching or have seen or will see i don't know how i'm gonna edit it yet Oh Actually, man, yeah. so much temple, so much cult. Yeah, it's <laughs> sick. It's got cult on deck. unabashed night sky beat us back to our hostel. We sat down for a meal and just after we ordered the electricity went out. The restaurant next to us was cheering and laughing and the owners lit some strategically placed candles within seconds as if part of a routine. When the electricity turned back on the crowd cheered again and so goes the spirit of Myanmar. What an insane day that was. It feels like <laughs> two or three days what we accomplished today. Yeah. And just how long we've been awake for. I know, we rented scooters, we went all around the pagodas. Just so many things happened. Yeah. Ate, and it ate was like just amazing. four dishes of curry. Oh, oh. We're in the middle of the road. Oh, shit. Everything about this place, I just love it. I just Me love too. it here. It's just such a chill vibe. Yeah, everyone's and, super friendly. Yeah. And it doesn't feel unauthentic, you know, like it hasn't been taken over yet by tourists you can tell it's coming yeah for sure but it's oh, it's amazing just wait for this bus but the day is not quite over yet we've just dropped off our scooter we're walking back to the hostel now to see what shenanigans are going on there apparently there's live music and shit and a bonfire and a bonfire which you know we love yeah also side note our scooter rentals were five dollars yeah. Which is amazing. So do it if you're here because it's worth it for five dollars. Oh yeah, for yeah. sure. By the way, also I know you can't see us right now, but 
If you're curious what hostel we're staying in, it's called the Maya Hostel, right? Maya Begon. Maya Begon. Yeah. And it's not necessarily the cheapest hostel, but it's off the beaten path. It's right in with where the locals live, and it will have a pool by the time you book it. And it is cheaper than other hostels on the main strip. Yeah. And it's brand new, so. And it's a good. It's can't a really good. Beat it. Yeah, it's a good place to miss all the douchebags too. Thank you.